Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and guys will kick off with problems based on the application of lines and this is where we'll be dealing with some real life problems and we'll be working out distances and, and stuff like that. So in that regard, here it is problem number one. Here we go. An object O is placed 1.2 meter above the ground and in the center of a hall 8 by 6 by 4. So this block can be assumed as a hall and the dimensions are 8 by 6 by 4 meters. So let me mark this 8, this is 6 meter and this is 4 meters. Okay. Now in this particular problem guys, you need to take a scale and the scale that uh, seems appropriate is this one. Let us assume that 1 meter is equivalent to 1 centimeter. Looks quite good. 1 meter equal to 1 centimeter. So all this stuff, meter stuff that I'll be making on my drawing sheet will be in centimeters. So 8 meter will be 8 centimeter. Similarly, 6 meter and 4 meter will be 6 centimeter and 4 centimeter respectively. Now, um, so there is an object right at the center of the hall. How much high? It is 1.2 meter high. So this is the center of the hall. And from here, we need to go upwards by a distance of 1.2 meters. Okay. And right here, we have an object. Let's call that by capital O. Now, determine graphically. Okay. That is with the help of drawing not via math uh, its distance from one of the corners between roof and two adjacent walls please see where the mouse is hovering this is the roof okay and this is the back wall and the wall adjacent to this black back wall is this one right one okay and they share a common common corner somewhere here and let's call this as capital G what we're supposed to find is the distance between this object and this corner C so let us join that with the help of a line and this length of the line is something that we need to work out with the help of the concept of projection of lines with the help of drawing itself and guys here we go let's draw an xy line let's let's draw the front view of this um hall shall i say so this is going to be how much eight and this is the height that is four eight by four eight by four done let's make the top view of this hall it's going to be this is going to be eight and this right here is going to be 6. It's going to be 8 by 6. Very simple. Over. Now what? Now let us try to make the top view of this object. When you view this object from the top, it would appear as if it is exactly at the center. Center somewhere here. So you need to locate the center. And the best way that you can do so is with the help of the intersection of diagonals. So that is precisely the center. Let me mark it properly. And here we go. Now th this object appears as if it is here in the top view okay right at the center of the floor you can see when you view this from the front the object will be at a height of 1.2 meters that means on your drawing sheet that height will be 1.2 centimeters here we go let me show you so this from this point you need to travel upwards by a distance of 1.2 centimeters on your drawing sheet although we are going to mention over here 1.2 meters only okay similarly let's talk about the corner this corner if you see in the top view we are going to see this and this is the back portion and towards the right of this back portion we have this corner so let's mark it over here okay that's the corner since it's the top view you don't have to put a dash when you view this from the front this corner will be at a certain height how much high it's going to be four meter high four meter high so that's it here you'll see this corner with a dash that means it's a case of front view and as far as this red colored line is concerned which connects this object with this corner it's going to appear something like this in the front view and in the top view just just try to think about this very calmly very patiently okay now we shall move forward so guys what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to find the true distance the true length between the object o and the corner c so here, here is the deal. If you watch this carefully, I've kept it absolutely parallel to the vertical plane. You can consider my body as a VP or a vertical plane and I have kept it absolutely parallel. Now you guys can see from the front and the true length is clearly visible. But if I incline it at a certain angle with the VP, you can no longer see its true length. Okay. So in order to see the true length, what you need to do is you need to make it absolutely parallel to the VP and then only you will be able to see its true length from the front. 
So guys, uh, here is the idea. Whenever you want to see the true length from the front, rotate the top view and make it parallel to XY. That's it. In the same manner, whenever you want to observe the true length from the top, rotate the front view and make it parallel to XY. And this is basically the logic that I'm going to be applying to find the true length between this object O and this corner C. Okay, so here we go. What I'm going to do is let me make a reference line. Okay, this is absolutely horizontal. I'll fix this point O and I'll rotate this point C until this OC becomes absolutely parallel to this XY line. This over here is the XY line. Let me just try. That's it. You need to keep one leg of your compass at O, other leg at C. Rotate it until it becomes absolutely parallel to XY. And this point is the new position of point C that is C1. Okay. So this was old C and this was old C dash. This is new C1 corresponding to which there is going to be a new front view. So what we can essentially do is let me extend a line from towards the right hand side, something like this. And now let me project a line from C1, which will end up somewhere here. And this is going to be the new position that is C1 dash. So that's the true length. Join C1 dash with O dash. And this is going to show you the true length. Just do the measurement. Keep your scale over here. And I'm sure that you are going to get a value very close to this. You can get a value 56, you can get 58 also, plus minus one, it's absolutely okay, no problem. But I've got a much accurate value add as I did this initially on AutoCAD, okay? So this is 57 millimeters, right? That means 5.7 centimeters, which on conversion, which on conversion would become how much? That's 5.7 meters. So the true distance between the object and the corner is 5.7 meters. And that's it guys. Nothing else. Now guys, the same value of true length can be obtained by doing a sort of different thing. Let me show you rather. So we've got this case. Instead of rotating the top view, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll try to rotate the front view. Let me show that. Okay. This is what we'll do. So we've kept this C dash as fixed and we are going to rotate this O dash. So keep one leg of your compass at C dash, other leg at O dash and then rotate it until it becomes absolutely parallel to this reference line or XY line. So this is the new position that is O1 dash. Now this is old O dash. This is old O and this is O1 dash new and it will have a new top view also somewhere here. Let me project the line downwards and this is the precise location O1. When you join O1 with this C over here, you will have the true length, which again will work out as 57 millimeters. That means 5.7 centimeters that means on conversion you'll have 5.7 meters so guys that was all for today i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching